So, what makes David Beckham look so attractive? And what can you learn from him so that you can look better too? In this video, we'll be analyzing his natural assets, his style, his grooming, as well as his imperfections to see how he maintains a great look at all times. Let's begin with this guy's natural assets. One of the key things that always stands out to me about David Beckham is his eyes. Not necessarily the color of his eyes, but the shape of them. His eyes are quite slim and angular. His brows have got really good structure, and this gives him quite a strong and piercing look which is normally an attractive trait. And he's got generally good bone structure throughout the rest of his face too. He hasn't got the strongest jawline in the world, but he has got really defined cheekbones. And his head as a whole, it's quite long. That tends to be quite attractive. Also his nose as well. Now, if you wanted rhinoplasty on your own nose to look good, you'd probably want it to turn out like David Beckham's nose because it's a great one in terms of the size and the shape. What stands out then about David Beckham's style and his grooming? And how does he always take his look to the next level? One of the big things for David in particular is he's experimented way more than most guys in terms of both his style and also his hair. When he was a lot younger, he used to try loads of the trends, which may have meant that he looked fashionable at the time, but going through the years, there's been some questionable choices for sure. And the same can definitely be said for his hairstyles. This guy has gone through some of the craziest ones and it's all been documented because this guy's in the public guy. He's tried loads of weird colors, loads of spiky hairstyles. He used to love hair gel, not so much anymore. And that's given him lots of experience. He's tried so much stuff that now he knows what works for him and he can consistently look good all the time. Let's take his hair for instance. David Beckham's hair looks good when it's either short or medium length. And he's had some hairstyles that have become super popular among guys with loads of men wanting to replicate his pompadour hairstyle. And I've also seen loads of guys wanting to transition to his new shorter hair Cut. This one's like a modern twist on a spikier hairstyle. In terms of his clothes, I always think that David Beckham is a master at layering, especially when it comes to layering just a basic two or three items. He always does a fantastic job, whether it be a formal outfit for the red carpet, a photo shoot, even for casual wear. He tends to stick to reliable, consistent colors. This is also helped by the fact that he seems to be really good at choosing jackets. If you're struggling at home to choose a jacket that looks good, have a look at some of the ones that David Beckham wears. He's made some great choices recently, everything from a leather jacket to different types of bomber jackets he's got denim in there this guy's wardrobe must be enormous when it comes to the bottom half of his body he definitely likes the tighter fits of jeans you'll find david beckham normally wearing something like a slim fit or a skinny fit and he loves pairing the skinnier trousers with different pairs of boots overall this contributes to his lean appearance what imperfections then does david beckham have to deal with and how does he still look good despite them? One thing that's definitely noticeable is his receding hairline. He's got what I would describe as lower temple recession, where the top areas of the side of his head are being pushed back gradually. And he's done really well at changing his haircuts in accordance with this. So a few years back, he was into all the long hair trends. But the problem with that hairstyle was it emphasized the recession even more. Then he switched to the pompadour hairstyle. And then as the recession has continued, he's then switched to this shorter hairstyle, which he carries off really well well because his main hairline at the top is actually still really good and because he's pretty much shaved the sides off completely the recession there doesn't really matter and it reduces the overall visual appearance of the recession for sure another thing david beckham is well known for is facial hair but david beckham's beard isn't actually the thickest it can end up looking a bit scraggly and a bit patchy at times now although he seems to ping pong between different types of facial hair there's no doubt which one looks the best and for him in terms of raw aesthetics the shorter beard works it makes the beard definitely look more full and also accentuates the cheekbones even more, which gives him a fantastic masculine look. You see, even celebrities, they're not always perfect. And often, how you deal with the imperfections is really important. Over recent years, David Beckham has developed a rather timeless style, but it will be interesting to see how it evolves as he ages. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more style tips videos just like this one, make sure you press the round subscribe icon just up here. And then we've got two more fun videos for you to watch right now, just below me. So go ahead, press on one of them, and I'll see you in a second. I'm out.